absolutely absurd spot this is. I'm over at Factory Butte area. Been here quite a few times. Probably one of my favorite spots to be in. I've just been camping here. I got here yesterday uh, for sunset. Didn't really shoot anything for sunset. Just kind of hung out, made some food, relaxed a little bit. Woke up for sunrise. There wasn't any clouds in the sky. And I've already shot this particular shot with clouds in the sky. So I knew that that's kind of what I was going for. So I didn't take anything this morning. So I've just been hanging out. Uh, just parked here all day. Solar panels going. I filmed some stuff for a review. Been just enjoying uh, the area. I've got it all to myself. Probably because it's almost 10 degrees at night. <laughs> but uh, it's absolutely perfect out here right now. Sun is setting and I'm probably going to take some shots uh, for sunset. There's a lot of cool shadows out on the horizon in some areas that I'll show you really quick once I'm done talking. And you'll get an idea of what I'm aiming for. Not entirely sure any of them will come out. This particular direction is definitely better for sunrise since the sunrise is literally right behind me. And uh, again, no clouds in the sky. So not really hoping for much. Uh, I do know that that desert burn was really, really awesome last night in this direction. So I'm thinking maybe I could get some really nice uh, blue tones or cool tones on these hills down here after the sun sets. We'll have to wait and see and see how it turns out. Anyways, let me show you some of these shadows that I'm talking about really quick. Here are some of those shadows that I was talking about. You can tell that are happening as the sun sets. Not entirely sure I'm going to get anything, but we're going to put the telephoto lens on, shoot a few shots and uh, see if anything, anything sticks out. Absolutely beautiful sunset. Not entirely sure I got anything, but I kind of was just experimenting a little bit, trying some things out and not trying to shoot something that I know would work or only limiting myself to, okay, this is exactly the shot that's going to work. I shot telephoto, I shot some wide shots, I shot some portrait shots of myself because I realized I don't really have any shots of myself, <laughs> which uh, you would think as a photographer, you would might have more, but I'm always just taking landscape photos. Anyways, there's some absolutely gorgeous light behind the camera and everything is silhouetted but there's this nice orange hue going to a blue right as we go into blue hour we're technically in blue hour now i can start to see some stars but absolutely gorgeous i'm going to probably make some food and call it a night shoot sunrise tomorrow and uh, see where the day takes us so anyways thanks for watching hope you guys are enjoying not talking about photography all that much for this it's more just letting myself shoot and show you guys what i'm doing rather than necessarily talking about all the settings and compositions and things like that. So, hope that's enjoyable. I like to break it up a little bit here and there. Anyways, food time. Maybe I'll take a few more shots. It's uh, really gorgeous. Let me, let me just show you what it looks like really quick. Absolutely gorgeous light. Wow.
Absolutely gorgeous morning here in the desert. Did not want to get out of bed this morning. It was a solid 10 or 15 degrees. The warmth of my blanket was uh, <laughs> definitely hard to leave. No clouds in the sky this morning, just like last night, but the desert is really nice because even if there's no clouds, you get these really awesome tones on the horizon. Usually at night you get pinks and blues, in the mornings you get oranges, and they're just absolutely gorgeous. Now, they're not always the best for some types of photography, but sometimes they work. So I'm actually gonna talk about that right now. You watch me set up a shot this morning uh, using a wide angle lens, and I had a filter system on there, uh, and it's actually a new system that I'm testing out by Nissi. Here, let me... This filter system. So if you're into gear, filter systems, whatever, I'll be doing a review on that in a week or two. You can make sure you subscribe down below so you don't miss that. And anyways, I set this shot up and I took like one or two shots and I was like, you know, I don't think I'm gonna end up using a wide shot just because there's no clouds or atmosphere on the horizon. Meaning I'm just gonna have that orange and blue hue and right when the sun comes up, maybe I'll get a little sunburst. But a lot of the times I just don't like the way wide shots look with a blank sky like that. So what I ended up doing was just taking the lens off, which is why it's like this, putting my telephoto lens on and trying to shoot a lot of the more intimate landscapes, shadows and details and that kind of thing in the areas that are surrounding us. Absolutely gorgeous. It's like a playground of compositions, which is why I didn't film a whole lot of me running around shooting because literally all I'm doing is just looking for patterns, looking for those kind of things and doing the best I can to find those detailed, intimate landscapes that are down below or even on the rocks above. So I'm gonna put a few of those images on the screen now and in the episode here. As always, if you like the video, you can like it. If you love the video, consider subscribing and I'll see you again on the next one. Again, be on the lookout for this review. Pretty interested. Um, I already know I definitely have some, I like some few, a few things and I definitely don't like a few other things. So it'll be interesting. Anyways, have a good day, good evening, good morning, good night, wherever you may be. Later. Mm -hmm.